Let's take it slow Where you go, I go to And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you Let's take it slow Hi guys, assalamualaikum and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So before I start the vlog, I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who's been supporting me and staying with me throughout my YouTube journey. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share my channel with your friends and family. I would really appreciate it. So anyway, I started today's vlog with breakfast. So here I'm making some crumpet with butter. So I'm spreading the butter on the crumpets and then I'm going to fry it on a pan. And I like to have this sometimes. My children also like it as well. But having said that, Yamin doesn't always like having things that are new to him. So it's a mission getting him to try things. So sometimes I try to bribe him um, to have and try new things. But Alhamdulillah, Saki was a lot more better now. She used to be like that when she was a baby. But since she started school, she's on school dinner. So um, they make her warm food and they let the children try like all sorts of vegetables and healthy food. So she's learning and she's a lot more open to trying new things. Guys, this is something I wanted to show you guys. Um, I had another one, but that broke, so I ordered a new one. I just can't live without these because um, these are egg timers and like me, if you like half boiled egg, this is perfect. I hate hard boiled eggs, but it's really hard to get it right. So I'm going to show you how you use this in the next clip. Okay, so you put your egg there and then you just put that in and then you turn it on and then as you can see it's all red now but if you want it hard when the red bit goes to cream on the hard bit you turn it off if you want it soft as soon as it goes here you just turn it off i'll show you i'm gonna take it off now guys guys i'm making some samosa today i'm not gonna show you how i'm making it but i just wanted to show you guys this samosa leaves if you haven't tried your samosas with this this is the consistency so it's already pre and if you haven't tried it you have to try your samosas with this because it's once you have it with this you're gonna you're not gonna want to have it with the other one it's really good so i've got my kima here i've got my egg wash start doing my samosas now Look at that sun uh, set guys, it's amazing. Um, so this is the day when I attended Yasmin Mujahid's um, Shattered Glass event that happened a couple of weeks ago in Manchester. Um, I attended one of her events a few years ago as well and it was amazing. So this time, because I have the children, I wasn't, too, I wasn't thinking about attending it. But then one of my friends sent me the link and she said she was attending it. 
So I spoke to my husband and he said, yeah, why not go to the event? Um, so yeah, that's where I'm going. My husband's just dropping me off. It happened in the evening. So um, this is on my way to her event. I'm sure everybody knows who Yasmin Mujahid is, but if you don't, I would recommend you to do search on YouTube um, for her lectures. Um, she's also got a few books as well, which are amazing. So we weren't allowed to record anything from the event. Um, and they said, if we did, we can record something up to 30 seconds, but also to tag them in the videos, which was a shame, but I have recorded a few clips for you guys. At the end of the video, you'll get to see it. Um, and it's really good if you can attend Islamic programs sometimes. It just um, aids you as a reminder because uh, we're all humans and we forget. Although we know a lot about Islam and we know a lot about our religion, sometimes you get so busy with life that you forget to do the basics and to remind yourself about why we're here in this world. And Yasmin Mujahid's um, lectures are usually about self-healing as well, which is so important for our mental health. If our mental health isn't up to scratch, then it affects all areas of our lives, especially when we have children. Our mental health is so important in order to teach our children the correct teachings and bring up them in the right way. So we need to look after our mental health. It is uh, wonderful to be back here after almost two years in lockdown. Um, I literally, my last tour was um, cut short. It is uh, wonderful to be back here after almost two years in lockdown. Um, I literally, my last tour was um, cut short. Don't essentially, it's actually essentially stopping healing because it's, it's telling you to suppress. And this is, this is a false definition of sub. But oftentimes this is what we are given. If we're given anything in our emotional first aid kit, it's have sabr with the wrong definition of sabr. First of all is that wrong definition of sabr. So I'm just going out now, guys. My husband and the children outside, they came to pick me up. And I had to come out early because they were already there. And I thought Yamin's going to be crying if he's sat in the car for too long. But when I came, he wasn't even crying. So I regret coming out early, but never mind. So if you ask me what is the one thing that I learned from the event, I would say one enlightening point that Ustada Yasmin Mujahid has made that really stuck in my mind is she said um, some of us uh, really praise especially women who have been through abuse and oppressive behaviours and they have put up with it without saying a word. Um, this is really unhealthy behaviour. We should not be praising negative behaviours. So that's one thing I really learned.